Behind me is the city of Kamakura, capital of medieval Japan, domain of the samurai and their warrior rulers, the shoguns. A city standing supreme in a fortress forged by nature, surrounded by the foothills of Mount Fuji and the Pacific Ocean. Kamakura, capital of the fabled land of gold. Kamakura, which had, by the end of the 12th century, under its mighty leader, Yoritomo Minamoto, become home to the shogunate, Japan's military government. And this government oversaw a period of peace and prosperity in which the economy flourished and a new era of cultural flowering took place, seeing the building of grand new temples with beautiful gardens and gilded Buddha statues, the fame of which spread far and wide throughout Japan and overseas to such an extent that Japan became known as Zipangu, the land of gold. But with the passing of Yoritomo and the deaths of his sons and grandsons in the intrigues that followed, the line of Minamoto shoguns came to an end. hostile outside forces, bent on the destruction of the Kamakura Shogunate, decided to rise up. The emperors in Kyoto and the Mongols, new masters of China under their leader Kublai Khan. In the face of these hostile outside forces, the emperors in Kyoto and the Mongols it would be down to the most powerful warrior family left in Kamakura, the Hojo, to preserve the Shogunate. And so, a three-way battle would ensue between the Kamakura Shogunate, the Emperors of Kyoto, and the Mongol leader Kublai Khan for control of Zipangu, the land of gold.